We are all striving for perfection, but we have not arrived yet. All right, none of us are perfect. And if you want to know anything, none of us truly deserve to be here or to be a part of the family of God. But in His grace, uh, His grace is sufficient. And His grace is there. If I do mess up and I do make a mistake, He loves me enough that when I reach out to Him, He picks me up. And He doesn't make me go all the way back uh, to the beginning. This is not a survivor challenge where you have to start back at the beginning uh, to complete this thing. I want you to know, yes, there are times when we do need to sleep slow down and maybe we need to uh, take a break from something because of maybe a, a deep sin that you may have fallen into. But I want you to understand uh, God does not uh, require that you go back to crawling before you can run again. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, yes. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let me say that again. <laughs> if you stumble and fall in this race, uh, God does not take you back to the beginning and say, hey, you've got to start crawling again before you can run uh, in this race. Right God doesn't take somebody who, has, who is maturing in their walk with Christ and perhaps they make a mistake. He doesn't say, hey, you got to go back to the baby's bottle again before you can enjoy another big steak. Woo! Somebody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I, and I want us to get a hold of that tonight. Uh, we are we 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 need to be thankful and we need to be praising God for the glorious grace yeah. that He has poured out on us. Yeah. Not that He's just sort of uh, cut up in little bitty pieces and says, "Oh, you can have just a little bit of this." Uh, no, the Scripture says He's poured it out yeah. on us, uh, and that's something to be happy about tonight. Yeah. Hallelujah. And then the next verse says, He is so rich in kindness and grace. Yes, Woo! Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Rich Hallelujah. in kindness Thank and grace. Thank you, Lord. Woo, I'm so glad that He is. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. And I want to get there too. Yes. I want to get there too. When I think about rich, you know, when we think about rich, we think about a lot, huh? Yeah. yeah, somebody that's rich, they got a lot. They don't have a little. The scripture says he is rich in kindness and grace. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. Whew. Hallelujah. He is rich. He is so rich in kindness and grace that he purchased our freedom with the blood of his son and forgave our sins. He has showered his kindness on us along with all wisdom and understanding. Showered means it's being poured out on you. Oh, thank you, Amen. That's a good, not just a little drizzle, mm -hmm. not just a little spray. Yeah. Amen. It's a showering, a, a, a shower. That's a lot. Yes. We're talking about rich in kindness and grace. He has showered His kindness on us. That's something to praise God about on a Wednesday night. He has poured out His grace upon me. He is rich in kindness and grace. And He is there to give it to me today just like He was the first time that I fell on my knees and called out to His name. And somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, along with all wisdom and understanding. You see, it's there for us and He is here to give it to us. God has now revealed to us, verse 9 says, uh, uh, His mysterious plan regarding Christ. A plan to fulfill His own good pleasure. And this plan, at the right time, He will bring everything together under the authority of Christ. Everything in heaven and on earth. At the right time. It hasn't, per it hasn't completely happened yet. Uh, and sometimes we get worried and frustrated. Well, when is God going to do something? Hey, He's going to do it at the right time. Yes, yes. Somebody say glory. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. Everything in heaven and on earth. Furthermore, because we are united with Christ, and this is why we've got to make sure that we are connected. United means there's a unity. There's a bond. There, there, there's no dissension. We are united with Christ. We have received an inheritance from God. For He chose us in advance and He makes everything work out according to his plan. The scripture says he makes 
everything. Somebody say everything. everything. He makes everything work out according to his plan. Sometimes we wonder, how is this going to happen? Sometimes we fret, how is God going to take care of this? Sometimes we get really deeply concerned. How, uh, how is God, does God really have his hand in this thing? It doesn't look like anything's going to happen. Hey, God's going to make it all work out and somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And I know He will because He's done it before. He'll do it again and He'll keep on doing it because it's His Word and it's His plan. It's not mine. Thank yes. you, Lord. Hallelujah. You know, if it was my plan, we may need a plan B. But when it comes to God's plan, there is no plan A or plan B. There is just God's plan. Because he doesn't need a plan A or a backup plan. Amen. Right. Because he's all got it covered right. under the original design. And somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Furthermore, we, because we are united with Christ, we have received an inheritance. Amen. He chose us in advance and he makes everything work out according to his plan. God's purpose was that we Jews, who were the first to trust in Christ, would bring praise and glory to God. And now Paul writes in verse 13 to us. See, we weren't Jews, not by blood. He says, and now you Gentiles have also heard the truth. Aren't you thankful, amen, that you've heard the truth? Yes. Amen. amen. Aren't you thankful that you have an opportunity to hear the Word of God? Amen. Yes. Amen. Aren't you thankful, amen, hallelujah. He says, uh, the good news that God saves you. Yes. Hallelujah. Not just for the Jews. The good news is, hey, you dirty, rotten scoundrels, you get an opportunity, amen, for this salvation thing too. Amen. God saves you, and when you believed in Christ, He identified you as His own by giving you the Holy Spirit whom He promised long ago. The Spirit is God's guarantee. Somebody say God's guarantee. God's guarantee. Amen. He has a, a, a guarantee, and that's a good thing. The promises of God are, are guaranteed. Amen. The Spirit, the Holy Spirit, is God's guarantee that He will give us the inheritance that He promised and that He has purchased us to be His own people. He did this so that we would praise and glorify Him. You see, He, he purchased us with His own blood. Amen. Now we need to be praising God for that. Yes, we do. Somebody say amen. 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 He did this so that we would praise and glorify Him. Yes. Have you praised the Lord today? Yes. Amen. Yes. Have you praised Him yes. for your salvation? Let's just take a minute and lift our hands and just say, Lord, I praise You, God. Hallelujah. Just a moment to, to say, God, I praise You, Lord, for saving my soul, Lord. I praise You for paying the sacrifice for my sins, Lord Jesus. God, I know that I didn't deserve it, Lord Jesus. I know I still don't deserve anything that You do for me, Lord. God, I want to praise You for Your kindness, Your grace, Lord. Your mercy, Lord Jesus. I want to give glory and honor to you, Lord Jesus, God. I thank you, Lord, for purchasing us, Lord. You bought us, Lord Jesus, to be your own, Lord Jesus. You paid a price that could not be paid by man, Lord Jesus. I praise you, Lord. I worship you, Lord, from the bottom of my heart, God. Hallelujah. From the depths of my soul, Lord Jesus. I praise you, Lord. Lord. You are holy, Lord. You are holy, Lord. You are holy, Lord Jesus. God. Lord, in your name. In your name, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God, you're wonderful. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then Paul, amen, takes the rest of this chapter and he begins to uh, say a prayer and give thanks. He says, ever since I first heard of your strong faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for God's people everywhere, I have not stopped thanking God for you. I pray for you constantly. 
Amen. As I mentioned a moment ago, I wonder, amen, if Paul was writing a word or a letter to this church, amen, if he was writing a letter to Solid Rock, would he be able to say, amen, ever since I first heard of your strong faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for God's people everywhere, I have not stopped thanking God for you. You know, I don't serve God for man's applause. I don't serve God uh, and the things that I do, I don't do it so that man will pat me on the back. But I do want to be a great shining light. And I want the light that I live to show that I love God. Yes. And that I have a faith, amen, in God. Amen. And that what I do, amen, is all for the glory of the Lord. And I would hope, amen, if someone was writing a letter to this church, amen, they would be able to say, hey, there's something about those people. They love God. Amen. They love God and they care for God and they don't ever, ever let go of Him. Amen. God is so awesome. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. I have not stopped thanking God for you. I pray for you constantly, asking God, the glorious Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, to, to give you spiritual wisdom and insight so that you might grow in your knowledge of God. Amen. And that should be our prayer for one another. Amen. And fellow believers, that we will grow in the knowledge, amen, and the wisdom of our Lord. That's why it's so important, amen, that we stay in this walk that we stay in this Word. Yes. Amen. So that we can grow to a place. Amen. To where we are. Amen. I want you to know, it doesn't matter if you've been living for the Lord for 60 or 70 years, there's still room for you to grow closer to God. That's right. Right. There's still room for you to mature. Amen. To gain more godly wisdom. Amen. And then verse 18 says, I pray that your hearts will be flooded with light so that you can understand the confident hope He has given to those He called His holy people who are His rich and glorious inheritance. You see, we talked about Him being rich in kindness and grace in the beginning. But now that we're here in this part of the chapter, we find out, hey, if we are His people, that we are also rich. Yes. Amen. Woo! Yes. Amen. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I have never known really, really what it's like to be financially rich. I have, I have daydreamed once or twice about my ship coming in. You know, when my ship come in, and if I just ever struck it rich, what I would do with all that money that I had. Uh, you know, but, but it's just a, a daydream. But I find out in this scripture, Brother Barrington, that I am rich. Amen. I have a rich and a glorious inheritance in God. Amen. And that is better than any green stuff Amen. that you can go up here to the bank and get. Amen. Because let me tell you something right now. Uh, those dollars that you draw out from the bank, they are really, really not worth much at all. If you know anything about the financial markets of the world, the American dollar is really not worth much at all. It's not. But here we have something that we are rich in inheritance yes. in that is greater. Amen. It's something that God has given us. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. We are His holy people. And then verse 19 says, I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power for us who believe in Him. 